Now, here's Chief Meteorologist Tony Petrarca with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. All right, this is more like it after a couple of tough days with uh, showers and thunderstorms and certainly very high humidity. Nice and refreshing. Take a look at live pinpoint Doppler 12 radar. You know, some locations really don't need the rain. If you take a, a look at places like New Bedford, where you include some of the rain from the uh, remnants of Hurricane Arthur and then the rain that came through yesterday, New Bedford for the month of July has had 10 inches of rain. So nice to see the Doppler radar quiet. Uh, great beach weather. I want to take you along the uh, South Shore getting real close here across Narragansett and Narragansett Town Beach uh, debuting one of our brand new weather cameras which is situated right about there. In fact, we'll take a look at it right now and it's just gorgeous with mainly sunny skies right now. A bit of a, a surf there. Temperatures, water temperatures now getting up there in the upper 60s. So uh, looks pretty nice along the South Shore. Further to the north here in Providence, Fox Point Hurricane Barrier mainly sunny, dry, and comfortable temperatures now in the lower 80s. Here's the wider view and just a couple of, uh, you know, fair weather, what we call cumulus clouds, decorative clouds mixing with the sunshine right now. Still 81 in Providence. Westerlies at 77. Uh, New Bedford looks real nice at uh, 78. You can see that humidity level certainly not as high as it was over the last uh, couple of days. And our friends in Seekonk, partly sunny, 78, and that humidity coming in at the 62%. Here's the wider view. Cold front responsible for some of the rough, rough weather in certain areas yesterday is now offshore. This blue line represents the leading edge of drier air that's been coming in. Some showers in upstate New York and parts of northern New England, not a concern for us. So future cast for this evening uh, looks real nice. Those uh, decorative fair weather clouds will be melting away, looking at clearing skies, dry, comfortable. You don't need the air conditioner. The air is not as thick or as humid as it was the last couple of days. In fact, late night, low temperatures down to 63. It'll be in the 70s this evening, then around Around 4 o'clock in the morning will cool off to 63. Starting off with sunshine tomorrow morning. Beautiful, dry, and comfortable temperature at 70 with a northwest breeze at 5 to 15. And we should recover to about 84 degrees inland tomorrow afternoon with mainly sunny skies. A little cooler at the beaches with the sea breeze setting in. There is a moderate risk for some rip currents. Air temperature 78, water temperature 67. Safe sun time at 13 minutes. Winds are light on the bay tomorrow. First northwest, then southwest at 10. Bay waves small at uh, 1 to 2 feet. Seven day future cast looking good obviously for tomorrow and even Saturday. If you can't make the beach tomorrow, you can certainly take advantage of some decent weather on Saturday. Much like tomorrow, Saturday at the beach is air temp upper 70s and water temperature in the upper 60s. Going to keep a close eye on some rain offshore on Sunday. Right now, we're forecasting that to stay away, so keeping Sunday dry, but you know, cautiously optimistic. Right now, partly sunny, a few extra clouds, temperature at 79. Warming trend for next week. By the middle of next week, we're talking about temperatures in the mid to upper 80s on Wednesday with a mix of clouds and some sunshine. Bottom line, we don't see any big, you know, widespread storms with uh, soaking rains and things like that other than occasional shower every now and then. So weekend's not bad. You can download the Channel 12 app through iTunes on your iPhone or on your Android smartphone as well. I mean, nice to get rid of the rain and see the sunshine, but also the low humidity. Very comfortable. We like them both. Yeah. <laughs>